Deus, por que ter meia por em meio de e tristes, em cima de uma flecha de inimigos. E se a minha emoção te der emoção, não tem emoção que não te vai dar para a tua. E em Deus, e os meus pais, e a minha alma, 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 e a a minha Misericórdia do teu omnipotente Deus, de mim as pecadas tuas, para tu que te advita a eterna. Amém. Confite o Deus omnipotente, viate Maria sempre a Virgem, viate Miguel Arcangelo, viate Joana Batista, Santos Apóstolos Pedro e Paulo, omnibus Santos e Tebe Pater, via pecado de mim escogitação e verbo e opere. Mia culpa, mia culpa, mia maxima culpa. Dio precor, viata Maria, sempre vergine. Viata Michele, Marcangelo. Viata Mioane, Baptista. Santos Apostolos, Petro, e Paolo. Omni Santos, e di Pater. Orari pro mia domino, un Dio nostro. Iniziato, e sono i botani, e io sono i miei spiriti, e io sono i miei spiriti, e io sono i miei spiriti. Amen. In urgenzia, in soluzione, in commissione, in pregato, in nostro uomo.
Je to mě pátý a prostě, že nám to nastaví. A se to mě nemusí. Aleluja, aleluja. Láudem do mě do pětu osmi, tak bych mě to dneska volil, tak jsem to jí vys. Aleluja.
to say that this is a place where the mass was said. Like my, uh, my own ancestor, King Clovis, King of France, he said, when he, uh, when he saw the mass for the first time, he said, this, this, I am in heaven. This is like heaven. And San Remy told him, no, no, heaven is even better. So the Holy Mass is very sacred. And it's about our divine God. And that's why it's turned towards our Lord. That's why it has a sacred language. That's why the, the priest spends most of, most of the time bending the knee, adoring, all kinds of expression of respect. And we offer to God what is best, you know, incense, to represent prayer, candles, to represent our own lives that consume themselves before God. And there are plenty of symbolisms, like the Jews lost the faith, and therefore the North, us, get the faith. And then we lose the faith again, and then the gospel goes back to the Jews in the end of times. And plenty of signs of the cross for all the moments when the passion of Christ took place. And so you want to ask us also, what is the Mass? The Mass is this, Jesus crucified. It's a cross of Jesus. It is not a Christmas party. It is not a celebration of the bread of the community, you know. It is not a peace and love celebration of a human brotherhood and reconciliation. It is not. The holy sacrifice of the Mass is Jesus dying on the cross for our souls. And that's why it's important before you go to communion that you go to confession that you are in a state of grace. Very important. That's why it's important that you know what the Mass is, so that you may offer to Christ, you may offer to God, the crosses that will come in your life. In our lives, we have happy moments, yes, and fiestas, and in our lives, there are painful moments, and difficult moments, and especially the hour of our death. And we must prepare ourselves for the hour of our death, in union with Jesus crucified so that we may enter into everlasting life. There is no other passage to everlasting life than our Lord Jesus Christ. And so your country, your country received this mass, and your country received the Santo Nino, the goodness of our God, and you kept the faith almost entirely, except the South, the Muslims had already arrived. And Our Lady protected you from the Dutch. The Dutch came with plenty of ships, better ships than the Spaniards. They had ten ships like that. Better cannons, better trained sailors, better admirals, better this, better that, more money. And miraculously, their ships were all sunk. And they never came back to the Philippines. In the south, the Muslims tried to attack. And then the Jesuit built the fort in the Zamboanga. And then, miraculously, Our Lady Masin saved you from losing the faith at the hands of the Muslim pirates of the time. And you were more lucky, more blessed than uh, Tahiti. Tahiti was discovered by the English, and so the Tahitians became Protestants, three quarters of them. The Catholic missionaries arrived later, unfortunately. And uh, in Tahiti, there were 200,000 Tahitians on the island of Tahiti. A few years later, only 7,000 were left alive because of the venereal disease and, uh, uh, and uh, the, the big problems that the Tahitians faced with the English and perhaps with the French for some time, with the English especially. There were only 7,000 of them left after a few years. Now it's back up. There are 250,000 them a long time to become big again. Then uh, the Protestants got tired of preaching and so they left the Marquesas Islands to the Catholic missionaries. And so the Marquesas Islands, which is a big group of islands, further east of French Polynesia, they became Catholic, 100%. That was very good. Now in New Caledonia, your cousins in New Caledonia, 
They were discovered by James Cook. The, it's a Tasmanian you know, uh, Dutch arrived first, but he didn't stay there. He was a Protestant. James Cook arrived there. But then the, the missionaries, the Protestant missionaries went there, but many Catholic missionaries were sent there, and the Maoris uh, listened more to the Catholic missionaries. Uh, many Maoris, so half of the Maoris are Catholics. But unlike you, they are not all Catholics. It's not the same. And then uh, you are luckier than the Aborigines, your distant cousins, in Australia, you are not killing them because when the English arrived, they shot them, they killed them. They thought they were just monkeys, pure animals, and then they shot them. And they almost all were all exterminated. But again, it's the Catholic missionaries who told the English, stop shooting, these people are human beings, and they can become good Christians, and so they did. And so truly it's the Catholic missionaries to save the life of the Maoris in, uh, in Australia. And you are luckier than your somewhat cousins in the mainland of Asia, in China, in Japan, because you don't have many wicked men near you because you are on an island. God puts you on an island. So when you became Christian, nobody came to take Christianity away from you. Like the poor Catholics in China and in Japan where the persecution was so strong. Some, for a while, the Chinese emperor almost became a Catholic, but unfortunately, because of some misunderstanding, he did not become a Catholic. And now there is a terrible communist persecution in China, and so it's very hard to keep the faith in China. So I'm saying this today, 500 years after the Santo Nino arrived in your country, I'm saying this today so that you may understand how blessed you are, how lucky you are, how much God has given you showers of graces, that you may keep the faith, that you may keep this treasure that arrived to you 500 years ago. Today, again, this treasure is in danger at the hands of wicked priests, not teaching catechism anymore, not teaching the faith anymore, asking you to pay money for baptisms, asking you to pay money for sacraments, and committing also all kinds of crimes in many places, and scandalizing people, causing people to lose the faith. Like your president, who lost the faith because he claims he was attacked and, uh, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and and she an awful crime at the hand of a priest. That's what he claims. It may be true because it's happening. And so this is what we try to do. We want to bring you back the same Santo Nino and the same religion that Magellan brought you 500 years ago. Because otherwise, you will lose the faith. Otherwise, Christianity will disappear, like unfortunately it has disappeared, that will be is beginning to disappear in other parts of the world. So pray for the church, pray that God sends us a good hope to rebuild the church and good bishops and good priests, pray for that very much. It is harder now today to keep the faith. It takes a lot more effort for you to stay away from the temptations of the world of today and the lure of money and business and all the lies that are being said against the Catholic Church and against the truth. So ask Santo Nino to keep you in the true faith. Today is a day of rejoicing for you, but today is also a day for you to ask the Santo Nino to continue to enjoy the blessings of faith and to live a good life, a good Christian life, until you enter into everlasting happiness in heaven. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay.
confetti e ore di onnipotente, viate Maria sempre vergine, viate Michele Arcangelo, viate Giovanni Battiste, Santo Apostolo e Spettro e Paolo, con i bossanti e sette dei Pater, via perché venemi scogita Sione per voi, opere, mia colpa, mia colpa, mia massima colpa, e io prego, viata Maria sempre vergine, viate Michele Arcangelo, viate Giovanni Battista, Santo Apostolo Spettro e Paolo, Omni Santo Sede Pater, orare pro me ad un Dio nostro.
Alangil sa ginoon at may balukang Maria. Pagkimaya ka Maria, puno ko sa grasya, ginoon man na akin mo. Dulaan ka sa mga babaeng tanan, nagbalaan ang bunga sa tiyan kong si Jesus. Santa Maria, inaan sa Diyos, yan kong kami magsala, araw sa oras sa mga Aniya, ulitong sa ginoon. Magkimaya ka Maria, puno ko sa grasya, ginoon man na akin mo. Dulaan ka sa mga babaeng tanan, nagbalaan ang bunga sa tiyan kong si Jesus. Santa Maria, inaan sa Diyos, yan kong kami magsala, Kamu sahur asal orang Thailand. Orang tua kayak kau. Bagi Maria dan Maria, kalau kesegeras dia minum mana kenimu? Belaka semangat berbaik tenan, belaka bunga setiap bunga Yesus. Maria dan Santa Maria, kamu sahur asal orang Thailand. Yang pokoknya Santa Maria dan Yesus. Mayroon po kita ang grasya na puyo ka sa inyo, ibubo sa aming mga kalay. Araling may pukinari sa pagpayo sa amin, na sayo sa pagkakay Kristo ay mga anak. Tumas sa inyo sa akin na tayo sa krus, madalagat ko sa inyo may mayang pagkabanhaw. Kaya mong ipanayo, pinagin ni Kristo na aming ginoo. Amen. Ibaya 